So when you come to your mat, we allow ourselves to just arrive, yeah? So whatever shape you wanna sit, recline, stand, use the wall. Generate a certain amount of concentration on your breath that supports dissolving whatever was happening before and really whatever will arrive later. So there's a turning inward to this landscape inside yourself with an awareness of Sat Nam, I am, I am. And that pulls your gaze away from looking out into your vessel. And so we integrate this present moment focus and this ability to unhurry as a tool to be less reactive. responsive, and really ultimately more receptive. Like the antenna of your frequency, whatever you want to call it, is open and preferences start to dissolve just a bit. So the call to action is, may I take refuge in this practice? May it be here so I can settle into this body that I'm on this journey, this pilgrimage with. And wherever I meet myself on the mat today, can it be with love, with kindness and compassion? Because if I can apply it to myself, I will apply it to all. So if you're reclined, join us seated. If you're seated a little more attuned, a little more upright through your central axis, your spine, a little width in the collarbones for that horizontal feeling. And then we pull hands to heart, intention, mantra, dedication, what brings you to your Matt, right now, right now, right now. And then an audible release and an ohm. So we take a deep breath in, open the mouth, inhale, Blink your eyes open, rest your hands on your thighs, take a deep breath in through the nose, just a deep breath in. Pause that breath, relax everything, even though the chest is elevating, and then take a deep breath out through the nose. Two more, just like that, deep breath in. Pause. Deep breath out. Pause. So now we've added a pause to the exhale. Refill, inhale.
Pause, relax shoulders, soften. Exhale. Pause. And then just breathe in through the nose and out through the nose. Good. Take your hands and bring them closer to your knees. Relax your shoulders, scoop your belly. So coil your spine so your nose gets closer to your pubic bone. And then slide your hands in and lift your chest and your chin. Squeeze your elbows towards each other. Shrink shoulders away from ears. And then exhale, slide the hands toward the thighs, knees, rounding, scooping. So now we're, we're feeling this flexion, yeah? And our arms are extended. And then when we slide the arms in closer to the pelvis, we squeeze the elbows and lift the chest. There's a little external rotation in the upper arms. We just have one more. Exhale, round, round, round. Inhale, extension, extension, rippling, rippling. Exhale, take the left hand to the knee and bring the right arm across, round your back. Uh-huh, we're adding a twist here. Inhale, slide both hands into that left thigh, lift your chest. So now it's a twist with a little extension. Exhale, come on over to that right side. I'm messing with your brain. Round your back, exhale, scoop, scoop, scoop. Slide right palm in, inhale, lift chest. One more round. Left hand to the knee, right hand on top, and exhale round. Inhale, slide and lift. Right hand, right thigh, left hand on top, exhale, scoop and round. Inhale, slide right hand in, lift chest. Take left hand over to the side, side bend over to the left. Relax the shoulder. Just a new way to get in those movements. A little more range. Come on up and then go the other way. And we want to remember there are so many options. Spin the right ribs forward, left ribs back. And then come on up. Take your body into either the pose of a child or downward facing dog. So either pose of child or down dog. If there's something in your body, maybe the tops of your feet, maybe the outer hips that you feel like needs something a little more, give it, right? A little twist, a little whatever it is. Otherwise, you're in child's pose for about three rounds of breath. My friends who are in downward facing dog, you are pedaling your feet. Pedaling your feet, generosity of moving and breathing. And really, it's like a half a dozen rounds of breath that you're tuning in to your body. What do you most need? What do you most need? Child's pose, friends. Join Auto Mukha, downward facing dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, dog. Inhale, rise your right leg. Lift it all the way up, all the way up. Lower your left heel. Inhale, plank with the right leg lifted. 
exhale dog lift that right leg exhale right knee right elbow and up right knee left elbow and up to the chest the chin the nose step the right foot forward lower the left knee down the top of the left foot each leg in their own lane and just start to bring your pelvis forward and back. Two more, forward and back. Forward, back. And then slowly inhale the arms up. Grab that left wrist side bend over to the right. So the left side of the waist getting a little more of that opening. Inhale up through center, both hands to the mat yet again. And then right leg towards straight. If you want to flex the foot, go ahead. If you want the back straight or rounded, that's up to you. Emphasis on breathing. And then bend the right knee, right hand to the hip or skyward. Hopefully you hit your playlist. I did forget to remind you. Reach that right arm over. Take the right hand outside the right foot. Step back, down dog. Inhale, plank pose. Air thick below you, slowly. Invigorated legs, slowly. Lowering all the way down, all the way down, all the way down, all the way down, all the way down. You get to the mat, you roll your thigh bones in, you shrug your shoulders to your earlobes. You shrug your shoulders up toward the ceiling, back to your elbows, and then you float your chest. You float your chest, you stay for the exhale. Inhale, lift a little higher and add the legs if it feels safe for the low back. Tether that navel, that's the complement. That's the, the collaborator. <laughs> lift a little higher. Release. Push back through child's pose. Downward facing dog. This body, this breath, this moment. Inhale, lift the left leg, lower the right heel. Lengthen into the plank with the left leg high. And then to the dog. Left knee, left elbow, exhale. You don't have to, you get to. Left knee, right elbow. Chest, chin, nose. Chest, chin, nose, step. Lower right knee. And then we have those three just gentle lowering and gliding. And right here, the water from the pelvis, we're just moving smoothly. Gratitude. After that third one, inhale your arms up, grab that right wrist, exhale over to the left, side waist on the right. Recline the shoulders so the upper traps don't have to work so hard. Inhale, come up, exhale the hands to the floor, and then steer outer left hip back. So you could flex straight. If you lock the knee, you know my suggestion, have a little bend happening in the body. Bend left knee, left hand hip or skyward. Each leg is in their own lane. And then when you reach over, spin your left ribs more toward the ceiling. Hand on the left to the mat, down dog for a moment. Plank pose. That decelerating high to low plank. And I really feel for me, like my hands are squeezing towards each other and toward the back of the mat. My inner thighs are squeezing towards each other and my heels are pushing away from the crown of my head. So I'm tractioning that whole sense in the body. Roll the thigh bones in. Let's reach the arms back this time and inhale, lift the chest. Stay for the exhalation. Add a lift in the legs. Slowly release. Hands under shoulders. Peel your chest 
Lengthen it. Release. Push back through child's pose. The rest of the practice, you have upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Down dog here. Inhale, lift the right leg. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. And up. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Step right foot forward. If it feels safe for you, keep the back knee off the mat. Hands come to your hips. Squeeze your elbows. Inhale, straighten the right leg. Exhale, bend it. Outer contents of left ribs forward. Inhale, straighten strong legs. Exhale, bend. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Both hands to your right thigh, outer right thigh. You can even take the right hand to the hip, sit a little deeper, and then reach that right arm back. Look back. Slowly lower the left hand to the floor. Reach right arm up. Here, in and out. Inhale, reach the right arm over if you like. And right hand outside, right foot, vinyasa. So classically right into chaturanga with an exhale. Urdhva mukha, upward facing with an inhale. Exhale, adho mukha, downward facing. Anything you want to shift, modify. Add on, you allow that. Lift left leg, right heel lowers. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. And up, left knee, left elbow. And up. Exhale, tap it. Step that foot forward. Now, if you couldn't get it there, yes, you'd pick it up, yeah? Hands come to your hips, squeeze your elbows. Inhale, exhale, deliver your breath. Inhale, exhale. One more, inhale, exhale. Whoa, my balance today. Both hands on the left thigh. And then slowly left arm goes back and then you reach back. Really lengthen through the right leg. Take the right arm forward and down. Spin. Inhale, left arm over. Exhale, hand down. Chaturanga. Urdhva Mukha, upward facing. Adho Mukha, downward facing. Hmm. Now, if you're paying attention, your body might go, we haven't even had one formal forward fold. This is true. We're gonna do one more round of lunges. Lift the right leg. Lower the left heel, that's that cohesive opening, and then take the right knee across with an exhale to the left elbow. And then up. Two more, exhale. Hydrate that body. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Step the right foot forward. Take the hands up toward the ceiling. And then sit into the right thigh, bend your elbows. Take your hands either back to your hips or weave your fingers. <laughs> Snuggle those knuckles down the back of the left thigh. And then humbly bow. Here you are, here you are. Ooh, yeah. Not my favorite right now. Your hands can come to the mat. If you close your eyes, you close your eyes. One more breath. So you just tell yourself one more breath. 
And then slowly, both hands to the floor, roll onto your left hand, Vashistasana. Side plank. How am I breathing today? In my body, in my body. Reach over with the right arm, right hand down. Could be a classic vinyasa. Could be that you skip it all together. And then you just return to long arms, long legs, tractioning of spine. Lift left leg, lower right heel, left knee, right elbow, and up. And every time you have two more, you exhaust the exhale, you exhaust it. Left foot steps. Hands come up, elbows bend so you can descend into that left thigh. Hands come behind you, switch the clasp. Knuckles down the hamstrings on the right and then fold. There's your extension, flexion. Ungrip those toes. If balance is an issue, you can always lower the, the right knee down. If your elbows lock, we bend them. Supple skin on the back of your neck. Hands down. Plank pose. On to the right hand, forearm or knee. Front and back body. Funneling. Left hand over and down or just straight down. Down dog or a full rotation a full revolution of vinyasa. Feet walk to the hands. Hands come to the shins, lengthen the spine, and then fold. We're gonna do that two more times, okay? Inhale, hands to the shins, Ardha Uttanasana, lean your weight forward. You can even take the hands to the floor if that feels better for you. And then exhale, chin to chest, breathing, moving meditation. Inhale, how could I be more present in this moment? Exhale. Inhale, come all the way up, all the way up, rounded or straight, rounded or straight, little or big back bend. Urdva Hastasan, little or big back bend. Hold, pull your prayer, your intention, your mantra, your dedication through your central line. Bend your knees, come into Utkatasana. Bend your knees, come into Utkatasana. Your feet can be together or apart. <laughs> Funnel those ribs. And then inhale, fountain the body up yet again, little or big back bend. Exhale, fold, infuse that intention, mantra, dedication. Inhale, lift your chest. Step or hop back, it's your choice. You wanna step, you step, you wanna hop, you want three chaturangas. Remember, it's a practice. Make it a sustainable one. Inhale, lift the right leg, knee to the nose and up. Two more, exhale, scoop and coil that pelvis. The nose, step forward, warrior one, heel to heel, or move the right foot into its own lane. Stay low in the right thigh and then come up. Mm -hmm. Come up and then breathe here. Breathe here. Take your left elbow under your right, vine your arms. If that's not possible, hands go right to prayer, okay? Twist into the opening, that's left. Come through the center, twist right. Center, inhale, lift for an arch. Exhale, round for a curl, sit into it. If you would like. If you would like, you can unvine your arms and take your right arm under your right thigh and your left arm out to the left. If not, left arm is under. 
Mm. Now place both hands on the floor, no longer wrapped around each other, plank pose. On to the left hand, the left outer blade of the foot or stepping on it, right foot in front or right heel in the inside ooh, of the left thigh. I don't know. Right hand and foot down. Vinyasa down dog child. If you have a sense of wonder, if you have a sense of curiosity, most importantly, if you have a sense of humor, you can enjoy whatever is offered. Lift the left leg, not just in yoga, knee to nose. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, knee to nose. Step, warrior one, Virapadrasana. From the roots of the feet, we press, we lift through the arches, and then we're just pouring our breath through our body and just feeling, feeling. What do you feel? Hands in prayer or right elbow under left. Ah, the opening twist to the right. That's my favorite. I know I shouldn't have a preference, <laughs> but I do. Twist to the left. Center. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. So you have this moment here where you bow head to heart, or you take left arm under right arm out, or you stay in the bow. Hands in their right lane, left lane, plank pose onto the right hand, outer blade of the right foot or the right foot down, and then the left heel up high, lift, breathe. I must have been in a red pink mood, I guess. Reach over, down, vinyasa. Slowly, we are here together, breathing. Moving, let's walk our hands now to the back of the mat. And two fists in between the big toes. You know how this goes, I know you do. Index middle finger or a whole entire palm of hand under. For those of you who have your screen available, I will look with kind eyes. Inhale, lift your chest, exhale, fold. I just wanna remind you, we traction our neck long here. We traction our neck long. Our elbows bend wide. We're using this to stretch our wrists because maybe, maybe there'll be a reason. <laughs> maybe we'll need that. Inhale, place the hands on the shins and then exhale, take the dog for a walk all the way to the top of the mat. Plank pose, plank pose here. Hold steady, right knee, right elbow, and back. Left knee, left elbow, and back. So we're steady in the plank, tie to the chest and back, chest and back, and then we cross. Yeah, cross, beautiful. Chaturanga, up dog, down dog. Right leg lifts, right knee, right elbow. We're gonna do something fun here. I think it's fun, slide the right knee down, and then up, down, and then up. One more, down, and then up. Sweep the right leg back and up. Right foot steps, warrior two. That's for the side obliques. Obliques are on the side, reach. Sit deeply, look over the right shoulder. Smooth your breath out. Remember in every pose, we wanna be able to shimmy and we wanna inquire inside ourselves. How may I be more present? And in that presence, more compassionate. And in that more compassion for self, how can I apply it to all? And then reverse the warrior. Sit deeper. Come on, friends, sit deeper. Lengthen, outer seam, side bend. Breathe into those muscles that surround your ribs. Inhale, come up. Exhale, sit deeper. Inhale, almost, not quite locked. 
Utita Trikonasana. If stance is too wide, shore it up, hug in. So from the skin, hug in, lift through, and then lengthen. If you wanna bind in your triangle, go ahead. Whatever fancy or not so fancy expression, own it. Whatever fancy or not so fancy, own it. So hum, satnam, I am, own it. Breathe with it. And then stay low and transition it into Utita Parjvakanasan. So hum, if you need less, forearm to thigh on the right, hand on hip left. If you need more, right arm down, left arm. If you want to bind, okay, if you want to bind, just know why. Why am I binding? Does it feel better? Does it feel, what's the feel? What's the feel? Both hands down, vinyasa or skip. Vinyasa or skip. That same right leg up, take the knee across to the left elbow, lower, rise, lower, rise, one more, lower, rise, sweep it, step that right foot forward, warrior two, coming up for a transition, hands on hips, almost straighten the right leg, turn toes in, heels out, inhale, lift your chest, ooh, enjoy that front body stretch, and then exhale. Index, middle finger, big toes, or grab outside edges of feet. Yes, this could be a headstand for you. I don't want anyone to think they couldn't. Inhale, lift your chest, exhale, fold. Again, we just had that moment when your feet were closer together, Padan Gustasan and Padan Hastasan. Here, your elbows bend wide, your shoulders hike up. That's what's happening in your body. Don't miss it. And then wherever you are, if you're inverted and you wanna stay for another two breaths, that's fine. Otherwise, hands under shoulders, toes out, heels in, bend left knee. Bend left knee, we go into skandhasana, we lift up through the contents of the torso and we roll that right thigh up toward the sky. Switch sides. Slowly switch sides. Roll thigh, breathe. More breath. Okay, we come through center. Pull or shore up the distance. We're going into goddess or temple. Shore up the distance. Okay, here you are. Be right here. Lift your right heel and lower. Left heel and lower. Sit a little deeper, both heels. Lower, straighten your legs. Hands on hips, swivel your pelvis to the right. Right foot is straight. Turn that left foot about 45 degrees. Inhale, lift your chest. Now you have the choice here. Hands can stay on hips. You can do hidden prayer, which is a great, great stretch for that chest or twisting triangle. Inhale, lift heart space. Exhale, come about halfway, smidge of a bend. Steer that right outer hip and then decide right now. If you want twisting, twisting triangle, take it. Breathe, take it and breathe or don't. Take it and breathe or don't. Okay, if you had hands behind you in hidden prayer, please bring them to the mat. If you have twisting triangle, please bring your hands to the mat. Lift your left leg and roll your left thigh toward the floor. And then we will very, very slowly bring our hands to our heart in prayer to stay, stay, stay. Land your left foot next to your right. Yes, I said that. Take your left elbow outside your right thigh. Look to the right. Breathe here, twist. Twist and breathe. And then weave your fingers, bring your palms forward, sit deeper into Ardha, 
Utkatasan, Ardha Utkatasan, yeah. Inhale, spring up, little or big back bend. This ought to help that right side rinse. And then fold forward and down. Inhale, lengthen. Step, jump, your choice. Hop back, vinyasa. And then you will lift your left leg. Left knee, left elbow. Yes, we get to do it here three times. Down, up down, up, do you have to? No way, down, up, sweep it. Step your left foot forward, turn your right heel in, come into warrior two, warrior two here, heel to heel or heel to arch. Traction that knee above the ankle, reach the arms. So hum, satnam, I am, lift the arches of your feet. Reverse your warrior. Breathe freedom inside. Put down inner critic. You are enough. Period. Radical acceptance says you are enough. It's not conditional. Inhale, come up. Exhale, sit. Inhale, mostly straighten and then come into Uttita Trikonasana. Any expression you want, any expression. So higher, lower, hand behind, hand wraps, if stance is too wide, narrower. Bend left knee. Forearm to thigh, left arm on the inside, right arm over. If you want to bind, if you want to bind, know why you're doing it. Why in your body do you want to bind? Hands down, rinse it, rinse it, rinse it. Lift your left leg, left knee, right elbow, and then down and up, down and up. One more, down, up, sweep it back, step. Warrior two is just a transition. We know this, hands to hips. Look at your toes, align them, hands on hips. Inhale, lift chest and heart. Exhale, fold forward and down. Hands underneath you or whatever you want. So if you wanted to grab outer edges, if you want that headstand again, if you never want the headstand. So you're leaning toward your toes and then your head is coming underneath you. My shoulders, they don't drip to the, to the earth. They rise to the heavens, rise to the heavens. Lean, lean, breathe. A breath of fresh air, a breath of you getting stronger, clearer, more committed, more committed. Inhale, lift your chest, turn your toes out, bend that right knee, skandasan here, heel can be up or down. Remember my knee locking friends, we have a smidge of a bend, so we have flow, flow in our body, in our mind. Fluid, fluid clarity, switch. Okay, here you are. You're switching, you're feeling, you're recruiting that muscular energy. Beautiful, come through center, shore it up. You know you're gonna shore it up, stack your knees above your elbows. I'm gonna turn my position just for a moment. Stack your knees above your elbows, what am I saying? Above your ankles. And then we're gonna lower the right shoulder and twist to the left. Come through center, lower left shoulder, twist to the right. Come through center, arch your spine on the down, 
round on the up, round on the down. You got to arch on the up, straighten your legs. Cuff your hands on your hips, right foot forward, a left foot forward, right heel turns. I had to do, do everything backwards. Left foot forward, right heel turns. Hands in on hips, elbows squeeze or prayer them, prayer them. Inhale, lift heart and then exhale fold. If you get halfway and you decide, no thanks, I want twisting triangle, you know what to do. Now remember, shimmying is part of it. So that outer left hip is gliding back and the ribs on the left up toward the ceiling. Smooth, smooth breathing. And I'm breathing in, out, I'm breathing out. Wonderful. Hands come to your heart center in prayer, whatever. Oh, first floor, excuse me. Hands come to the floor, come off the back toes and then roll that left, that right thigh in and then bring your hands to your heart center in prayer. Bring them to your heart center in prayer. Risk a little, breathe. Breathe, you're in it like a tipped, a tipped position and then bring your right foot next to your leg, twist. Tipped position, twist. Taking flight, twist. Breathing, twist. So wonderful. Interlace your fingers, bring your palms forward. Ardha Utkatasana. Mm -hmm. Inhale, spring up. Take your left elbow under your right. Take your left elbow under your right, my friends. Left elbow under right. Sit. Sit into it. Take your left leg over your right. Left leg over your right. Wrap it. Twist it. And when you do that, maintain whatever's coming up for you. Feel it. Lift through the heart. Knees left. Elbows right. Left knee to the chest, and then slowly keep the hands where they are and extend the left leg back. And then bring it forward and down. Unravel your arm. So it's eagle and then eagle balance. If you need your hands, you use them. Inhale, arms up. Take that right elbow under the left, sit. You could stay right there. Or you wrap that right thigh up and over and around. Now, here's the key. Just look forward at your feeling body. And when I say that, I mean, just be with what is, wrap. If it's wrapping, great. If it's not, great. Knees, right, elbows, left. And then when the right knee comes up, the left knee stays bent in the transition, in the transition. Lengthen. Now, as you lengthen, doesn't matter. Yeah, these look great. Roll that thigh. Roll that thigh. Wonderful. And then release. Release, unravel, sweep those arms up. Remember your prayer. Pull your prayer to your heart, fold forward and down. Inhale, lift your chest. Step, float or fly, friends. Step, float or fly, chaturanga. Up dog, down dog. Now slowly, gently, you can lower one elbow at a time or you can walk in a smidge and lower both elbows down. You don't have to, you get to. Your hands can stay uh, uh, parallel in the forearms or you can bring the elbows to touch. And then slowly, yeah, slowly you'll walk your feet in and you're in what is called dolphin plank. You can stay right here. You wanna add on a little, but not a ton. You can lift and lower your right leg four, five times. You wanna add on a little more. You can shorten this dance, look to your hands and kick and then lower and kick and then lower. And wherever you are, you know, if you have the wall, which I do, you can kick and maybe use the wall or not. I don't know. And then when you're ready, like now, you'll lower the right leg. Nod your head yes and no. You do have another side. So shorten the stance. 
and then decide. I just want to lower and lift my left leg. I don't want to do any of that. Or I want to look and kick. And maybe you'll find a moment where instead of overdoing, you'll meet yourself where you are. I don't know. When you're doing it, breathe. If you don't want to kick, I don't know why you would. And then you'll come down and your cookie is you get a child's pose, okay? So your cookie is turn the palms of your hands up, you get a child's pose. It's not a very big cookie, an indulgent cookie. It's just, you know, a little nibble. Because we're coming back onto our forearms and we're sliding our right leg back and our left leg back and we're in forearm plank. Take the left foot outside the left side of the mat and back to center. Right foot outside of the mat and to center. One more each side. Right foot, right, left foot, left. And then lower knees, thighs, pubic bone, navel. What a blessing. <laughs> Tether your navel. Lift for low, medium, or high cobra. Remember the cobra, the front of your chest being drawn through the thumbs, the neck, not feisty. Back body feeling complimented, complimented. And then down you come. You can bend your elbows, stack your forehead, and shake your hips. Hmm, this body, this moment, hands behind you, grab for your glutes, that gluteal fold, that little ridge, squeeze your elbows, and then lift your chest. Now maybe add a lift in your legs. Does not matter how high you get. Chest and legs. Slowly release. Bend your knees. Do not grab your feet yet, okay? Because we're doing something different. Lift your chest. Squeeze your elbows. Lift your thighs. Come on to your forearms again. Turn your right forearm into the left lane, okay? Bend your left knee and then take the hand on the inside. So I have the inside of my left ankle and just that's where you stay. That's too much, you hold the glute, okay? If you're there, you look forward and then kick. Just one side, forward and kick, 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 and then release. You know what to do. Left forearm, pivot on it so that the forearm is parallel to the top of the mat. In step, inner ankle of right. Right leg moves a little left. Kick it, kick it, kick it. Release. Now, if you want, both hands on the inside, inside of your ankles. I'm gonna say something right now that for some of you will, you'll go, oh, duh. And for others, you'll have to think about it. Your arm doesn't wriggle around. So I want you, remember when we start in the beginning, I asked for the palms to go out. I want those palms to go out. So you do not ravel your upper arm bones. If you're grabbing, what I'm saying is your hands reach back. They don't roll and reach, they reach back, soaring. Good job, go, grab that kick. Release. Now look to the right. Okay, so you grab it and you kick. You grab it and you kick, yeah? Good, you got it. Release. Now if your back is like, oh, holy moly, that was too much. If you, that's the, the mantra, okay? Then you take a child's pose and you just traction there. If your back is pretty excited, yeah, pretty excited. Hmm. And it feels like, oh, my front body has been craving this opening. You can do that exact same one, or you can grab the outer ankles, kick up for Danya Rossin, kick up, and we're going to roll. You knew this was coming, yeah, to the right and the left. So we kick and we do the Danya Rossin sideways, back through center and then sideways. Hopefully you don't have the wall behind you. I have to just hold myself so I don't kick the wall, yeah? And you're coming back through center, kick. Release, now look the other way. If you wanna windshield wipe your feet, go ahead. 
Oh yes, my friends, we are on this journey together. Plank and reverse to child's pose for a moment because we're gonna keep this back bending for just a few more breaths. Now, two options. One, which some of you knew, push into your shins, hold on to that glute, replicate the floor. Now it's air in front of you and do a medium or a real dramatic cobra or look back, be certain your feet are pointed straight and sit in between those heels. Snuggle in if your sit bones are down and start to go back for Virasana. So you're in a modified Ustrasana, that's camel, or a full camel, or your body craves quad more centric stretch and you're in Supta Whatever shape you've taken, Supta or just Virasan or Ustrasan, complement back and front and back body, and then sit down and come out of there. There'll be an aftertaste. Side bend over to your left. Come up, side bend over to your right. Come up, turn the palms of the hands up. What's the aftertaste saying? Mm, I'd like another bite or heck no. If you want another bite, you do another camel or another uh, reclined hero. If your body is heck no in it, child's pose, okay? We're just gonna be here for three breaths. So you could be in your camel, you could be in your reclined hero. Remember this, my friends. It will never be significant what you see happening in my body or what you see happening in someone else's body. It's significant what you feel in your body. How are you breathing? Okay, come up and out of your reclined hero or your camel. Let's all meet in down dog for traction. Let's all meet in down dog for traction. Mm. You can cycle through a vinyasa if you like. And then hop your feet through your hands or to your hands. Come on to your bottom. Scoot yourself forward. Yes, we are. We're rolling down. Taking a half bridge. And then those of you who want the wheel, two rounds a wheel. Half bridge. Everybody pick it up. And the it is the pelvis. Press down through your feet. Starts down through your feet. Pick up your pelvis. And then slowly drip it down. Second round. You can go right into wheel. Half bridge people, I'm gonna guide you to something fun. Half bridge people, you can lift up and then lift your right leg up. Hips up. Lower your right leg. Hips up. Lift your left leg. down, pelvis rises, come down. If it's a lot for your back, bring your knees together. My friends in the wheel, come down. And wheel friends, you'll go right back up. Half bridge friends, if you wanna interlace your fingers underneath you, right? Like we did in that very first crescent where we took the hands behind our back, you'll just peel up and interlace your fingers and press the outer arms into the floor. Wheel friends, you just do you. Friends who don't know what to do, you can just close your eyes. Just close your eyes, just be where you are. Breathe with what you're breathing. And then we all meet by bringing our feet together and our knees wide. One hand on your heart, one hand on your belly. I'd like you to take the first breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. I'd like you to take the second breath in through the nose and putter the lips. 
And I'd like that third breath to have an audible sound inhale. Ah. We've been doing core the entire time. We're just gonna do what I like to say, call the pick me up. So hug your knees into your chest, interlace your hands behind your head. The pick me up is to curl your head and shoulders, tap your elbows outside your knees, and then tap the toes and the back of the head. Two more like that. Exhale, inhale. One more, keep squeezing your inner thighs. Collectively, outer to inner, inner to outer. Beautiful. Now, legs straight up. If that's too much for your back, bend your knees. Curl head and shoulders, coil the pelvis. You might not see me coiling, I am. Uncoil the pelvis. Coil like you're ringing a doorbell on the top of the ceiling and then uncoil. If your knees are bent, you can still coil and uncoil. We're doing six of these. Coil uncoil. Stay up with your head and shoulders. Last two. It's a micro movement and yet it's deep. Okay, hug your knees in. Three options. Three. One, do an inversion. Two, do an outer rotator stretch so you can rock and roll vinyasa and do your um, pigeon, excuse me, or you can just do a figure four seated. Three, do whatever you want. One, inversion. Two, some kind of outer rotators, pigeon or figure four. Three, what do you want? You have exactly one minute and a half. So 90 seconds. So if you're doing something that is two-sided, 45 seconds to me is about five rounds of breath. Figure four friends, pigeon friends, switch sides, inverted friends. If you chose shoulder stand, maybe a plow. And if you chose something that's just one thing, you can keep at it. If you chose shoulder stand and you're in the plow, remember the fish. Remember that counter stretch for the throat and the heart. You could absolutely do a recline twist. I'm not going to, I know we twisted enough. I'm just gonna demonstrate that modified fish. That modified fish is right here. True fish, my legs would go through the wall. Okay, because I just move myself. All right, you wouldn't want to do this and watch the screen. And then get out of there and shimmy into Shavasana. Shake out whatever needs to be shook out. Putter, scan the body and release. Scan the body and release. If your mind goes to, but I need one more pose. Yeah, you do, it's, it's Shavasana. You don't need the other one right now. If you're gripping, clinging, attaching, she doesn't know I need that pose. Go ahead and do it. Let it be, let it be, let it move through.
Krishna Govinda Hare Purare He Narayana Vasudeva Hare Eyes remain closed. If you want to stay here longer, stay here longer. If you're ready to move fingers and toes, wrists and ankles, do that. Roll to one side, up to seated. Hands are at center in prayer. Namaste, my friends.